Welcome, 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 welcome. Hola, hola, hola. Welcome to another episode of Mujer de Éxito, Unbounded Woman of Success Without Limits. My name is Marty Angel, and I am your host for this podcast. Mi nombre es Marty Angel, y soy su anfitriona aquí para este podcast. I just want to share with you that sometimes we speak English, sometimes we speak Spanish, and sometimes we speak Spanglish. And what this podcast is all about is about getting the story, the real story, the raw and real story from those women who have gone from survivor to thriver and hopefully inspires you to be able to see that you can do it too. As a business coach, I love taking the mujerpreneur, the bilingual mujerpreneur, gain clarity and focus on who they serve so they can up level from brick and mortar to click and order and rock their six figure biz. Gracias por estar aquí. Let's get to it. Vamos. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your healthcare provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at treatcovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome. Today, I am going to share with you how to take your business to the top by using the same methods that you use to ace your exams. Remember when you used to ask the teacher, why am I learning this? Why do I need this? I'm not going to need this in the real world. Do you remember that? <laughs> well, today you get to hear it. Basically, to be honest with you, to be successful in your business, you basically have to use the same strategy you learned in school for test taking. Seriously. No, really, verdad. Es la verdad. Es la verdad. Usa la misma estrategia. So, how? Como? <laughs> well, let me share as a former business department college educator, I want to share this information with you because I was really thinking about that today and I thought, you know, how can I help somebody really get organized so that they can really rock their day? Welcome everybody. If you are just joining me, my name is Marty Angel, Marty Angel, Latina biz coach known as the Empowering Latina Coach. And I am passionate and loving what I do. I help bilingual, Latina, and women entrepreneurs, mujerpreneurs as I've coined the term, gain clarity and focus on who they serve so they can up-level from brick and mortar to click and order and rock their six-figure biz. I know some of you are saying, like, what does that mean? Well, that means that I help you rock your online sales, basically right? So what I'm sharing though today here has come after like I ask myself what do I really know that has helped me to share with you the mujerpreneur, the bilingual, the BIPOC woman entrepreneur so that you can really get a handle on your day-to-day -day activities. So what I'm sharing today is a perfect example Un ejemplo perfecto of an answer to that age-old college question. When am I ever going to use this in real life, professor? Do you remember asking that? Do you remember somebody sitting in the seat next to you asking that? As a Latina entrepreneur, there are certain things that you must do. Now, I don't use the word should because I always say don't should all over everybody or don't should all over yourself because those things that we should that we should do 
never come to pass because our brain shuts down. But that's for another conversation. But as a Latina entrepreneur, there are certain things that you need to do that you must do on a daily basis to help your business succeed. And by following these simple steps that I'm going to share with you, siguiendo estos pasos que, que son sumamente importantes pero muy fáciles, you can ensure that your business, amigas, is running smoothly and efficiently. I love to call everybody chulas, amigas. I love the word chulas. That's something that that I always use. So I hope I don't offend anybody. But trust me, the best way to feel good about your day inside your business is to make sure that you get those recurring feelings of accomplishment. So if I were to say to you, you've got to make sure that whatever you do today, you're going to make sure that you feel that feeling of accomplishment. Why? Because we need to get to that feel-good place. Being in that feel-good place, we vibrate at a certain energetic level and we begin to attract that which we, that which we uh, really, really want, not that which we don't want, right? Remember this, and I always used to share this with my yoga students. You will never attract what you want you will always attract what you are being. So when you get that feeling of accomplishment, you're being successful. Your beingness is success. So here's what I highly recommend for my group coaching students. Because I have a group of coaching students, online coaching students. The first thing, and I'm going to share, you know, People always ask me, well, what do you do, Marty? What? So the first thing that I do, and the first thing that I am suggest you do before, as you sit at your desk, is to set the stage for success. You've got to take your day as if you were an actress or an actor. For example, when I sit down, the first thing that I do is turn on brown noise for background and focus. Why? Because I have a tendency to be a little bit ADD, right? And and they told me I was severely dyslexic. I didn't know that. I was still top of my class, but oh well. The next thing that I do is I open up a window to make sure I've got enough light and maybe there's ventilation. I'll turn on the fan to make sure that my body Temperature stays comfortable. You always want to be at that place of comfort, right? And so being in that your surroundings where you are comfortable physically is important. So that's why you've got to take care of your physical environment. And then next, I readjust this chair and then I turn on all the lights and I draw my microphone near me, right? And so if you take time... Si tú te tomas tu tiempo diario, if you take time each day to stage your environment, you, my friend, have set yourself up to succeed. And so often we take for granted our environment. We just sit down and boom, start working. But you've got to take it all the way from, you know, part of what I do as well is I set my intention. I have up here a whole bunch of, you know, you can't see, but I have up here on my wall a whole bunch of things like I am now increasing my cash flow uh, tenfold right away. So I have a lot of mantras. I have a lot of positive statements. Today is the day. Today I'm going to be fearless. Live your dream. Say what you Say what you love. Do what you love. You know, those things are all around me. So do not take that lightly. Once all that is done, then sit and plan and organize your tasks. If I say to you, organize your day, that becomes a little more overwhelming. People are like, I don't know what I'm going to do all day long. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué hago primero? And what do I do? You know, 
So if I tell you to organize your tasks, then you get a little more focused. And this is going to help you stay on track. And it's going to help you avoid the feeling of being overwhelmed by all the work that you need to do. So for instance, I use Trello and an old fashioned steno pad in colors that I love. Okay, so I go out to the store and I buy notebooks that I love. I love the covers, those things. I want you to realize that it's important to number one, set the ambiance and number two, make sure that you're setting the ambiance for positivity. And that's really important as well. The second thing that I suggest on your daily to-do list must be to make sure that you communicate with your team regularly. Now, I know that earlier I told you guys that I am a coach, so I'm a business coach and a lifestyle coach, and ine inevitably I help people learn how to communicate with their teams. That's not really like my number one thing, but it's really important to realize that you're going to get more efficiency from your business if you communicate regularly with your team. If you're a network marketer, I know that you may have some customers or clients or associates or whatever it is, business partners that you need to communicate with regularly. Why? Because when everybody's on the same page, it ensures that everyone is working toward the same goals. And if you're not a network marketer, let's say you're an affiliate marketer and you work with a social media strategist or maybe you've got a social media assistant, you still have to communicate. If you're an entrepreneur and you run a brick and mortar business, you need to communicate with every single person that, that works underneath you. Why? Because you want to make sure that you're working toward the same goals. It's imperative that you do this. Es muy importante que siempre haya comunicación con todo tu equipo. So if you need to send an email or set up an, an online meeting, you also do this now. That's the next thing, right? So you want to set it up so that you know that you have an email to send out, you write it down on your tasks and, you know, and maybe an online meeting and, you, and it's on your calendar and that's what you need to make sure to do. Now, the third thing that I highly suggest and recommend and I teach the people in my coaching group to do is to set goals and create a plan. Use the same strategy that you learned in school to be able to do this. I know this. I was an educator for many years and still am an online men educator. It's the same thing. When I was a principal, I would tell my teachers, set up your day, write it down. What is your goals for today? If, if you set your goals for the whole week, sometimes that can be overwhelming. So you want to make sure that you set your goals up for today. What are the big goals that are going to, what are the three big goals that you want to get done today? Put those at the bottom of your list and then begin to do all the easy things first. Remember when the teacher used to say, on the test, make sure you go through and you answer all the easy questions first. Do you remember that? And the reason for that is because as you do this, you set yourself up for that feeling of accomplishment, that feeling of success. And, and when we feel about and think about, we actually attract about. So as a Latina entrepreneur, you've got to remember that you've got to look for those little feel places, feel good places. So do the easy stuff first. And then you can do the, the more advanced task or the more time consuming tasks later, right? One thing I wanted to share with you is that as Latina bilingual BIPOC entrepren women entrepreneurs, what we have is we have an advantage that others see as a hindrance, but it's not a hindrance. It's an advantage. And we 
When it comes to setting goals and creating a daily to-do plan, we're ahead of the game. We're already used to that because our brain is thinking in two different languages, two different cultures. And as an entrepreneur, it's important to set goals that you know are realistic and achievable for you. Do not compare yourself. Nunca te compares tú, tu negocio, con, otros, con otras personas, otros negocios. A daily to-do plan, my friends, helps to keep you on track. And it also helps to track your progress and ensure that the tasks are completed, which adds value to your day by giving you a feeling of accomplishment and therefore a feeling of success. Now raise your hand if you out there want a feeling of success. I know I do. And when I find that I don't set myself up, I don't, you know, I find that I don't get those feelings of succeeding. So you want to make sure that, you know, you're, you're cultivating this feeling of accomplishment that helps you stay focused and motivated. Tienes que, tienes que mantenerte enfocada y motivada. And you got to remember to set up this plan the same way you use the same strategy you learned to use when you ace those tests in school. Right? So simply put, you want to do the easy things first. Go after that sense of accomplishment, that great feeling of being done with the task so that your energy can be on an on a energetic high, right? Now think about this. I want you to think about this. When you, were, when you were ready to take a test in school, you came into the classroom ready to take the test. You sat down, you cleaned off your desk, you put the books underneath you, you grabbed a pencil, you grabbed an eraser, you grabbed a whatever sheet because I also taught algebra, so I always had a my students have a clean sheet. You were prepared, preparing yourself to succeed. And that's what we taught you in school. And that is transferring now to the same thing that you're using in your business. Cuando te enseñamos en la escuela que pusieras todo abajo del mesa banco y sacar tu lápiz y tu hoja, te estábamos preparando para para que tuvieras éxito en esa prueba. Ahora eso es lo mismo, lo mismo que vas a hacer en tu negocio, en lo diario. Trust me, if you do the easy things first, go after the sense of accomplishment, the great feeling of being done with a task, you can set your energy on high that will keep you motivated and focused. You won't have to think about it. What can I do to motivate me? Just by simply being organized and setting everything up and following the simple steps that I just shared with you, you'll do it. I promise this works. And remember, I, Marty Angel, this is something that I told my students. I never make promises I cannot keep. <laughs> That's so true. Some of my students still say, remember you used to say that, Professor? Yes, I still say that. I never make promises I can't keep. Nunca hago promesas que no puedo cumplir. And next, I want to say to you, be persistent. Ser persistente. So what do I mean by this? Well, in a world that is constantly changing and it's hard to stay focused on your goals. As a Latina and bilingual entrepreneur, mujerpreneur, it's important to be consistent in your daily goals in order to achieve that success that you can taste, that you can feel that's so palpable. Taking it one step at a time gives you that sense of accomplishment. I prometo, I promise. It is important, my friends, it is important to remember that Rome was not built in a day. Do not get discouraged in your business if you're not making a sale today. If you do not see results today, you're setting yourself up. You're in it for the long haul. Because truly, 
If you were in it for the get rich quick, I'm going to tell you, it ain't happening. It happens to some, but those are few and far between. The rest of us, we need to keep working diligently. And we need to hook into our why. Remember, why did we start this business? Why did we start this side hustle? Why did we start network marketing? Why did we start our coaching? Why did you start this? Por qué? Tell me, why? And if you stay focused on your goals, you are going to achieve them if you continue to be persistent. There, there isn't a time that you will not succeed if you continue on. There are many challenges that come with being bilingual and a BIPOC entrepreneur. Don't get me wrong. And sometimes those challenges are more than our white counterparts. And it can be difficult for us to find the right resources and support. But trust me, they're out there. If you don't have a Latina coach and you're a Latina and you want a Latina coach because she knows you, she feels you, and she's been there, I would love to coach you. That's a shameless plug. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Shameless plug. But let's keep moving here. So, however, if you're pers persistent in your goals, you will eventually find the success you are looking for. I promise. It can only happen to you if you are persistent and you continue on. And of all the things that I'm sharing with you today, this is certainly the last, but by no means the least. Make sure, listen carefully, make sure to take some time for yourself every day. Do something fun that brings you joy. Why? Because this will continue to keep you motivated. Now, I don't want you to get distracted and do it all the time, but I do want you to set aside some time dedicated time to really do something for you. And this may seem like a luxury. And poo-poo everybody that says, that's a luxury and you shouldn't do it and you should work hard. Well, you know what? Let me talk to you one day about the word hard. I actually wrote an article about the word hard. I want you to take it and throw it out. We work Consistently, we work diligently. Maybe there's challenges, but there's never a hard day. Remember that. So this may seem a luxury, but it's important for you to recharge so that you can be at your best for your business, for your family, for yourself. Truly, amigas, chulas, beautiful women entrepreneurs, Mujerpreneurs, if you have found some sort of value in these words that I shared with you today, please help me out by sharing this message to your team, your friends, your collaborators, and remember to smash that bell so that you can be notified whenever I go live or I upload a new video. And if you're here with me on Fridays, Fridays, I do Canva tutoring, right? And it's just easy. So as always, amigas chulas, I want to say that I am so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you listening or watching this segment on my video podcast show, Mujer de Éxito Unbounded, or listening to Mujer de Éxito Unbounded. Muchas gracias. A reminder that you can listen to the audio version of this podcast anywhere that you listen to your favorite podcast show. I'm everywhere. <laughs> I am everywhere. As my daughter says, Mom, you're everywhere. Yes. This is Marty Angel, Latina business coach, signing off. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. This episode brought to you by Celeviv Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask. The Celeviv Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask locks in intense moisture to perfectly prime your skin for restful sleep. 
apply this relaxing hydration serum several times a week to pamper yourself and radiate your healthier looking complexion. Sheet masking is all the rage right now. Make it a regular part of your healthy skincare regimen today. Celevive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask. Click the link below and get yours today.